International Carl doing another video for you as always. Thank you for stopping by. This time we're doing a tour on this beautiful site here in South Staffordshire, right off the A38, really close to Burton on Trent. This time I'm here to see the Halvard Show Home. They're really testing my English with the naming of these houses on this development. But this is a beautiful new development here. I think they're building about a thousand homes here. This is a large three bedroom house with a with an attached garage to it. So let's go see inside and tell me what you think about it in the comments. Let's go. Thank you for stopping by. My name is International Carl. Please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Thank you. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, first time in this house. Let's have a look. What do we see upon arrival? So, Immediately, there's a door to my left. So that means inside here is going to be the downstairs WC. Decent sized WC. This is where your RCA box is. This is, this is where the power to the house is. This is how you kill all the power to the house. Is in here. This is a hardwood floor, so it's not linoed. Nice sized bathroom. Hi there. Now, if I come back out into the hallway, let's see what we are greeted with. One thing I'm really liking about this house so far is I'm liking the fact that there's this glass door. And so, if you know, imagine this was a, a, hot, a full door that was closed off. It'd be really dark in this house. And so you wouldn't be able to see anything, but this is a nice door, it, like invites you all the way into the back of the house. So let's have a look at that first. Ah, the kitchen's right there. So. As soon as you come in, if I was to close this door, it's clearly a little closet in here. Look at this little light that they put in there. Really cute, and it's even at an angle. I like that. <laughs> That's where the internet comes into the house. And this is where your uh, alarm is at. I don't know why it's in the closet, but whatever. Nice, decent size living room. Nice size living room, TV over here a place to actually sit and entertain. I like the, the fact that they went with a circular table in here in terms of design because it lets it flow because a, a rectangular table would probably take up too much space in here. Let's have a look at the house. Let's have a look at the kitchen, I should say. You have your double oven, which is nice. These are, man, they really testing my English today. Xanus, Xanusi, I don't know. You tell me if I'm saying it right. But I really like the high gloss Looks like they went with a glossy finish on these cabinets in here, which is really nice. Let's see, do we have soft clothes? Yes, we do. You have a five stove, a five range stove with plenty of storage underneath it. Let me guess, this is the washing machine. No, it is not the washing machine. Oops. Let's see, where is a washing machine? Is there a washing machine in here? There's your clothes washer. Ah, there's the washing machine right there. So it definitely has a washing machine. Standard sink that you can get at B&Q or any home appliance store, which is really nice. Plenty of storage. There's your boiler. Plenty of storage in here. And this is going to be your fridge freezer combination. Yeah. Plenty. So I would say, if you ask me, this is your typical British house. And it's one thing as an American getting used to is seeing the fact that your washing machine is in the same place where you cook and where you clean. Interesting. But I like the, 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 the three-way angle you have here. It's really nice, really good, really good design. I think you're getting a lot. So let's come in this corner. Let's see if we can really maximize and see what we're seeing here on this house. You know, I really like it. I really like it. Now let's head upstairs. First time upstairs, let's see what we see. Let me give you the full floor to ceiling look. There we go. I'm not sure how I feel about this brown color on the wall, but I do like the pictures. Make your own kind of music. That's what a house should be about. Making it, making your own music in here. That's how a house becomes a home. So as we come up the landing, again, there's three bedrooms in here. 
What I didn't see is how do we access the garage? Maybe the garage doesn't come into the house. So let's start here. As soon as you come up the landing, first room to your right. Wow, actually a large size bedroom. This is clearly bedroom two. I would imagine this is where you could put a built-in wardrobe right here. So, you know, you find your, your spot, you go across, put a built-in wardrobe, but you can leave it as is here. I think I spoke too soon because <laughs> as I look behind me, there is a built-in wardrobe. So let's see. Ah, so it's a small, I get it, I see now, I see, okay. So you have a built-in wardrobe, but this here is because the stairs come up this way. So, but plenty of space to hang your clothes, you know, plenty of space. And you have some space up top, which is nice, nice to have. So, okay, there's a solution. So there is a, there is a built-in closet here, but if you wanted one, you could put one there, but I like that you have the sitting here. This is a nice size room for you know, especially if this is like your starter home. You know, you have a place to do your makeup if you're a woman or something like that. Or a man. I don't judge. But, you know, nice size. You can put a TV up there on that wall. You know, you can just come up in here. I would love to have a room like this as a kid growing up. <clears throat> Across the hall is bedroom three. Let's have a look. As soon as you come in, you're greeted. You, not, you have your Juliet balcony. So it opens up, but you don't have a, a porch or anything or a, a deck out there, but it's a nice size. It has a built-in wardrobe. This is definitely gonna be extra, 100% gonna be extra. I didn't even check, but I'm certain. But nice size, you can fit a nice size bed in here. Nice size bed, wall-to-wall -wall closet. Really nice space in here. Let's have a look at the garden. I mean, this isn't gonna be all your garden because there's a house to your right here that you have to share with, but you know, fairly large garden. And then let's head to the main bathroom over here. So there's one bath, there's gonna be one bathroom for these two rooms up here. You're gonna have a tub shower combination here, tiled uh, walled, uh, a tiled um, bathroom in here, which is really nice. You got your sink, you got your toilet, you got your radiator, your towel heater, which is nice. One thing that's getting me about these St. Molden houses and is that the ceilings are really high, nice and high. Normally in UK houses, you have short ceilings where you can literally touch them on your feet. You know, you don't even have to stretch your toes. So this is the master bedroom. Let's see what we see. Decent size. Quite like it, quite like it, nice. Standard radiator, nice window seal here. Beautiful view of the development of what's coming. Yeah, I really like it, nice wallpaper. What I like is that the, the, the colors and the design isn't in your face. There's other houses I've done where the wallpaper and the color is like really in your face. So you have a built-in closet here, plenty of space, I'm certain. I mean, depends on how many clothes your wife has, but you know, lots of space. I don't know where the guy's clothes would go. And then you have your master bedroom, your master ensuite. Again, another power shower in this house. So these three bedroom houses have power showers. Power showers is to push the water through Nice subway tiled uh, bathroom, really nice. Radiator. Mmm, really nice, really nice. Not bad for a starter home. I believe this is on top of the garage where I'm at right now.
And yeah, what do you guys think, man? Nice house, right? Not too bad. I'm back in bedroom number three here. And I'm going to end this video. Ooh, looks like the other house has <laughs> solar panels. You can't see it. Can you see it? Yeah, solar panel. But I want to sign this video off. I want to thank you for rocking with me on this tour. Uh, click here to subscribe to the channel. And then click right here to watch another one of my videos. And I will leave a description of the house and everything at the back end of this video. And definitely in the uh, description. In the, uh, com in the description box. So with that said, I'm going to sign this video off. Peace. See you on the next one.